Here we are. Another day older. And definitely not wiser. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for biz... I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. So, Arthur, that's the truth of it. When I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Thank you. Of course. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best Keep moving. 
Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Tak, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? No, przepraszam, co pan uh, robi w moim domu? You speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, no. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, das, uh, no. das Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Aha. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's... Very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is it? Oh. Oh. No. No. <laughs> now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it. You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You still have siły! You still have siły! No! No, nie! Ah! Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! I don't have money, but, but I have this. It's good, it's good, it's valuable. Is is Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. Something somewhere. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. You must have come here with something. I need, I must eat, Proshe. Okay, that should about cover things. Yep. 
Dragon, sir. Girl. Okay, girl. Yep. Damn performance with you. Now I told you. The next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that, Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch!
Good to see you again, mister. Nothing like a fresh start. Our folks in New Hanover will be notified. See you later. Chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that fella over there. Now nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shot. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Decent thing.
Okay then, girl. Get him. Come on, girl. That heavy enough for you? Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Good morning. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur.
Knew a man cut his toe clean off chopping wood. Okay there, Swanson. Mr. Pearson? Let me know if you need help with that, Arthur. Good to see you putting your back into it. Don't throw your back out. Them horses are hungry.
Come on, open up. Here. Now you go keep the people safe. It better all be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you tomorrow. The hell's a man? Could be messy. I want this done by book. You're going down, down. You see that? Now, what are you going to do about it? Good girl.
I've just seen shapes here. Yeah, welcome. Looking to pay away those sins? It's a real sport to me. Thanks. Say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends are nice. And now the two of you have betrayed me. Eyes open, fool. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought I was going to be, oh, go! Oh, I thought I was going to be a goner. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh, whew. Here, Whew. this will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. oh. We'll have a field day over this back town. Get here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Take it easy. Oh, my God. 
Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. If... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. Yeah. Take care of that record for you directly. Thank you, really. Evening, partner. Good to have you, mister. Have a look. You must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here. Now grab some items for your camp. Coffee, hunting supplies, biscuits, canned items. All along the perimeter of the shop. It's an old book. Careful with the pages. Uh-huh.
Business done. Hmm. Sure. Good. Sure. Should be good. Apparently, those black water. Thanks, Mister. Hello, you look hungry. Hey, Mister. Evening. Done. Stop, oh, I beg you. Oh, Come on, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just go. Yeah, I think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bit spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Sir, 
<laughs> You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Hold still, girl. Was at a low point. Real low. And uh I I tried to rob him. I mean I, I was I was just out of the army and I, I was drinking like a fish. And uh I, I I was still sticking up folk on the highway, just uh out west of the mountains. And, and, and Dutch got one look at me. I was just, I was just drunk, and I was angry. <laughs> and and he, he just burst out laughing. <laughs> and I was so mad. 
I swear I could have put a slug in him.